everybody and welcome to today's video we are doing a plus size zaffle haul i've got i've got a decent amount of stuff over here to try on for you all uh so they did send these items over to me this video is not sponsored just trying these items on now i'll be honest with y'all i have ordered from zaffle in the past for my youngest daughter but i've never ever ordered anything from Zaffle for myself because I didn't honestly think they had my size, but they do. They have a plus size section over there. I do want to let you all know I am on Rakuten's app on my phone and it is 7% cash back. Um, so you all know I'm all about any of the apps or any of the downloads that are going to save you some coin. So as of right now, if you are just shopping from your phone, download the Rakuten app, not sponsored or anything like that but you will get 7% cash back at least the day that I am filming this from Zaffle. If you are interested in signing up for Rakuten, check my link down below. I think it's a $30 sign up bonus. Share your referral link with your friends because uh, I'll get $30 when you sign up. You share your referral link with your friends. They'll get $30 when they sign up. You'll get $30 like it's endless. So do it. Um, anywho, uh, if you are new here, hello, welcome. My name's Rhonda and over here, we're embracing the hot mess and we are remembering that the number on the scale and the tag in our britches does not define our happiness. We're over it. We're done with it. Oh my gosh. And can I show y'all my favorite summer dress before we jump into it? Yes. Is this not adorable? I know, right? I honestly, I don't know if it's still available. I bought it last year from Glitzy Girl Boutique. Check them out. They have straight and plus sizes over there as well. This is in, I think this is in, is in a 0XL or a 1XL. I don't know. Anyhow, let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm pretty excited. They actually had a pretty good selection of plus size items over there. Now, just for reference, I do have my measurements linked down below for y'all. Like a lot of people shop at Torrid, so uh, up top, I typically run about a size 12, and then on the bottoms at Torrid, I'm about a 14, and some, some places I'm a 16 on the bottom, so. Anyhow, there is that. So the first item is in a uh, size 2XL. Oh my gosh, this is not the material I was expecting. Okay, so it's a really cute oversized type of tie-dye t-shirt. And I love wearing these kind of things with my biker pants or biker shorts or just denim. But I thought it was going to be a cotton type of material. It's definitely not. It is, it is a polyester, so it is definitely that shiny type of material. It does actually feel like a lightweight, breathable type. But anyways, I obviously love tie-dye, so just add into my collection. So this top is a 2XL. And I have to say, I feel like it is, I mean, obviously it's oversized, but it wasn't what I was expecting as far as like swallowing me up. I feel it's absolutely perfect. I do have my Yvette sports leggings on or shorts, bike shorts on. These are the eco ones that they just came out with, the whole eco line. This is literally made from recycled plastic bottles and everything. These are so freaking comfortable. I love them. So as far as this top goes, I feel like it pairs beautifully with a pair of leggings to just, you know, look semi put together if you want to run to the store or something. I will tell you all, the Yvette Sports, these bikers, they do come in purple, which I totally want because it would match this purple little sun. Absolutely perfect. Uh, so anywho, I think this is really cute. It's not too big in my opinion. It is a lightweight polyester. I don't feel like it's one of those ones where I'm not going to be able to breathe. I love the colors. I love the way it feels. And I just need to get my Yvette Sports uh, Bikers to match that and uh, I think it would be really cute. Oh, this is a two piece set. I was super excited about it. This I did go in a 3XL uh, because I, I don't know if Zaffle is this way, but from other companies, the one thing I have learned from shopping different websites is when you typically go with a two piece set, 
um, a lot of the times like they run a lot small smaller and another thing that I've learned from shopping online is sometimes if they're not showing you a model in the outfit I've noticed that some of the things run small now that's not always the case but that, that's kind of where that's just where my brain goes so it is a pair of like baggy pants but again I couldn't tell on the website if these were going to be baggy um, I think these yeah, for me, I'm about 5'3 on a good day, so they're going to go below or around my ankle. They're kind of like a cargo style, but I thought this would be really cute, like loungewear, because then the top says Destin on there, and it's kind of like a crop top. Now, my thought process in this was like, oh, I'll just like hike the the pants up for like a higher type of fit. That's, that's what I like, but I thought this would be cute for loungewear, um, but look at this. See, see where I was right, y'all? Does this look like a 3XL to you? No, I will say this is a stretchy material, but that's just my little random one thing that I've learned through shopping online. Okay, so this next set is in a 3XL. Now keep in mind, mama does have her um, her uh, queen brooches on from Honey Love to suck, suck things in, but because it's, they're just, they're comfortable and no shame in my game. But anyhow, we just, Ignoring that. 3XL. I would, this runs small. This one, sorry, gamer, literally, we share a wall and she is just blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, these run, I feel like definitely not true to size. I feel like I like the fit. I definitely like the fit in them. There is, and I probably could have sized down to a 2XL. I would not have gone smaller than that. But I feel like for a 3XL, this is a, this is tiny. This is a tiny 3XL. So it, it just goes right back to what I was saying is a lot of the times I find that some of these companies that when they don't show you what the model looks like in them, they tend to run smaller. Let me know if y'all feel the same way. Overall though, I feel like the outfit is cute, great for around the house. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of crop tops, so honestly I was hoping and on top of it that this would be a little bit longer, but it is cute. I mean, it is a cute little outfit, especially to just chill out, sit outside, you know, read a book, drink your coffee, nice el elastic stretch bands. I don't know, Let's see if I can scoot you, scoot you all back a little bit so you can see how long they are. So, there you go. So again, 5'3 on a good day. They come right at my ankle. They do have a stretchy around the ankle. So if you wanted to kind of throw back to the 90s, do you guys remember that? Do y'all remember that? Y'all know, uh, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna throw something reference from the 90s or this. Or the cool kids only had like one up, one down. Yeah, that was not me. I was, I was way too shy to try and be cool. And y'all, it's so funny because some of y'all are like, oh my god, I bet you were like the popular cheerleader. Girl, no. I was scared to talk to people. Things have not changed. <laughs> Things have not changed. And if I'm talking, nine times out of ten, it's, it's nervous chatter. And I'm not comprehending any of it. Good times. Never outgrew that. <laughs> this is in um, a size large. So it's a cute little, I think it's like an off the shoulder stretchy type of bodice. It does have a zip in the back. So we will see how this fits. I mean, normally for me, my biggest concern is my stomach and my hips. As far as like measurements go, that's what I'm always trying to accommodate. So that's, like I said, sometimes I'm a 14, sometimes I'm a 16, sometimes I can squeeze into a 12. You just, it, it, you just don't know, you know? So this next dress is in a large. And okay, here, here's the thing <laughs> that I had to remind myself. Do y'all, I don't know if y'all did this, but I remember when I was younger, I would, to myself, okay, well if you zipped it up and you got into it, like, you should buy it. Like, mm -mm. again, sometimes I think we need a little reminder that this the number on the tag won't define our happiness, okay? So left that Rhonda behind last year. So this is in a large. I definitely need an XL. Um, and you can see like all the puckering through here, do you see? 
Can you see that? But as you can tell, I need an XL. Um, it's a cute dress. I actually really like it. And it's giving me the issues of where I'm larger. So again, I always have to fit my stomach and my hips. And now that I'm thinking about it, I assumed because this was flowy, I'd be able to just get away with the large. But overall, this would be a very, very, very cute dress. So, anywho. So this is again, a cute little summery dress. Oh, okay, so it is adjustable straps and this is what it looks like. Now the front, oh my gosh, there's like 50 different buttons. I don't know why it didn't come buttoned. And it looks to be very flowy, which is perfect. I love this material. It is so lightweight and so soft. It's a really light, like, <laughs> purple which i thought would just bring out my eyes just joking my hair and as far as the material on this one goes this one says it is polyester so really it's much lighter like i felt like the tie-dye was lightweight this is even lighter so i'm excited to try that okay so here is the next dress and it is cute i will say i am puckering a little bit here so i feel like it would there it looks a little bit better if I just go ahead and undo that if I went with a little bit less of a padded bra I think I'd be totally fine or braless and put some nip covers as far as this dress goes it's in an extra large it's got a lot of room which was what my thought process was on picking up some of these straight sizes so I think this one fits really cute I think it's going to come down to the style that you choose uh, when it comes to some of the items in the straight sizes. If you are like a 12, 14 um, and you can get away like, I, you know, with this being flowy, I think you're going to be okay. And here is the back of it. It's really cute. I did adjust the straps because short torso, short person. I love the length of the dress. Hold up. So once again, I think these sandals from Shein would be super cute or the Shein tennis shoes would be so cute. So this is one of those dresses that you could totally make nice and casual. You could dress up a little bit. I love this. I love how flowy it is. I also love the fact that as far as like where it's coming in, it's coming in at the smaller part of my torso, which I really appreciate because I feel like it's giving me a little bit more of like that hourglass versus like the apple we were discussing in my last video. I don't know if I'm the apple or if I'm a pear, I just know I'm not an hourglass. So, and one of y'all were like, in the best way possible, I would say you're an apple. And I'm like, okay, that, that's what I was thinking, just wasn't for sure. So I love that it cinches me in here. So far, I would say this is my favorite piece. Okay, this one has me so excited. I did get this in an extra large, which I think was saying it was a 12. Um, and the reason I was thinking I may be able to get away with this is because it's not bodycon. So again, 12 up here, larger on the bottom. Uh, so we will see, because it looks like it had a little bit of a flare to it. I don't know. I do have my um, Honey Love Queen briefs on, which I love those so much. It just gives you that nice little contour. So, and if you guys are interested and you haven't picked up any of the Honey Love, they did give me a coupon code for you all. I'll have it listed down below for you all. I think it's hot mess, but I could be wrong. So this is in a very, very minimal type of stretchy material. Um, it is in an XL, really cute. It's gotta be polyester, just going off the feel. There is a side zipper here as well. <laughs> I'm glad I figured that out because how many times, if y'all like me, I don't pay attention. I just immediately try and like shove something over my head or shimmy up in it. And then I'm like, oh, it had a zipper. Uh, yeah, so polyester material again. Okay, so this dress is an XL and it is so cute, but it so doesn't fit. <laughs> it is very, um, yeah. Like it bunches and that's with having shapewear on too. So it's smoothing this mama pooch out, which it is what it is. Oh, I really wish this fit. Um, so yeah, I feel like the, the straight sizes definitely run 
slimmer, which may be the norm. Honestly, I don't know. I'm kind of new getting into straight versus plus. But XL, which I believe was Zaffle, is a 12. That don't fit the girl. It fits here. It fits up here pretty good, actually. Unfortunately, down here, Mama needs a 14. So there's that. Um, but overall, it's really cute. And there is that side zipper made well. Nice, stretchy uh, material for the arms. But unfortunately, I'm not willing to drop 10 pounds or 20 pounds to fit into this. They're going to need to accommodate me and make a bigger size. So <laughs> that's where I'm at there. Okay, this next one is again in an XL. Oh, this feels cottony. What is this? What the heck is this? I think it's a skirt, but it literally looks like a dress. I'm pretty sure it's a skirt. And I don't know why I went with an XL because I can tell by it's very bodycon-ish. But it does look like it could be a bodycon dress. But I swear, I'm like 99% sure it is a skirt because this next item, I think, is the top that I got to go with it. So that's what it is. Oh, this is tiny. This is an extra large. <laughs> Nervous laughter. Um, it's stretchy. Oh, well, you know what? It's fine. I told y'all, I try and buy at least one outfit that makes me go outside my comfort zone. That would be the outfit for this haul. Okay, so here's the outside the comfort zone outfit. <laughs> Is it horrible? I mean, it's okay. I don't know how this ruching part goes, so I think it, for me, I like it better I think I like it better over here. I do wish this top was longer. The top and the skirt are both in an XL. And uh, the top, I feel like I definitely need to size up 0XL, 1XL on there because it is kind of, I mean, I've got some room, but ooh, I don't know. And I really wish it was just a hair longer, like to here. I just think to here would be so freaking cute. Um. The skirt is supposed to be a bodycon, so as far as the way it fits, I think it's probably fitting the way it's supposed to. Um, it is, what the for real heck? Holy guacamole, we got some loud trucks. You done? Okay, so as far as the skirt goes, um, I think probably paired with a different top, I'd probably really like it. I did try and take it up over my bra. Um, and I guess if you really wanted to make it a dress, you probably could. Uh, but this is probably, this, this is a miss only because of, um, oh dang, that kind of looks cool together though, doesn't it? <gasps> did I just make an outfit? No. <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of cute. Oh my god. I, I, now this I kind of like. Like, make it like this, Apple. And then, yes. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm done here. So the next item is in a 2XL. And I'm not for sure what this is. Oh, it's just a pair of cozy leggings. Okay, so if you all don't know, I typically size up one when it comes to my leggings. Uh, so at Torrid, I can wear a 1XL in my leggings, but I'm more comfortable in the two. I like some breathing room. I was assuming this was a cotton type of material. It's again, one of those polyester feely types of material. It's really cute. It does have a little lacy, see a lacy cutout around the ankle. I think my intentions was to pair that with this okay so i just went ahead and i kept or put on the t-shirt these leggings are in a 2xl and i really expected them to be so much bigger than they are i will tell y'all they are extremely comfortable i do like the material this is the kind of like lounge outfit or even like a nice little pajama outfit if you uh you know i mean honestly i don't i would not work out in these pants but I feel like they're really cute. And you all know what I'm going to say, don't you? I know you know. The Shein white tennis shoes, I'll link them down below for y'all. 
I just think would be so cute paired with this outfit. Mama go to the grocery store looking like this. No shame in my game, baby. Yes. I'm all about comfort. And yeah, I mean, I, I have them. Well, you can see my um, Honey Love Shapewear. <laughs> but I love these. I love the elastic band on them. And they are stretchy. So I would, I'd would i say it's very much safe to say that if, even if you are a uh, true 16, 18 even, I would say you'd probably be able to get away with these because there is, I mean, you know, so much nice stretch to these and they're actually pretty cute. And there is a coupon with Zapple, plus you get your 7% at least the day I'm filming this cash back with Rakuten. This is really cute. This is one of those things where I feel like would be really cute too. If you are, you know, after swimming, you have a little fire pit, you sit around the fire pit, you still look cute and put together, but like cozy because it's so nice and soft. And if you got too much sun, it's going to feel good on your skin. Anybody else like that? Just me? I don't know. I'm very much, I need cozy. Okay, moving on. Okay, so the last item we have here is, I think, another dress. It is in a size XL. This is more of a cottony type of material. Ooh, with the, mm hmm So we have, like, a very nice and stretchy back, adjust, adjustable straps, and this is just the cutest. I like the length. That is one thing that I struggle a lot with dresses because of my height and the fact that I feel like I have a shorter torso that a lot of things are just wear me versus me wear it. So I'm excited about this one. It's a really pretty mauve color which I feel is really going to match my eye look. I'm using that new Urban Decay uh, mini mini palette three or something so anyways very cute let's go ahead and try things on okay so this dress is in an extra large it does have adjustable straps so i was able to adjust them up because short girl life love this again same similar empire you know waist where it like goes to the smallest part so it kind of breaks me apart and gives me more of that hourglass look goes out nice and frilly which is great love the length this is perfect on me so i'd say if you're like five three five four or smaller you're probably going to absolutely love this length it does have some faux buttons which i really wish that's how the purple dress had been was faux buttons versus like buttoning up and down um that's the difference back here we have the stretchy type of material right here which i love because it accommodates bustier people as well so you really have that extra give which is absolutely wonderful plus if you're out to eat or whatever and you know you like me and you kind of <laughs> yeah enjoy yourself you have that extra room where this this particular dress you don't have that you're buttoned right into it there's no stretch there's really no stretch at all except for just a is there a tiny itty bitty minute amount in the back uh so yeah but this one this one is perfect i think this is so beautiful and again yes i need to get these in a tank well actually the white would match perfectly so anyways i think this is a really cute love the way it fits and i think i honestly i feel like this is one you could get away with without wearing a bra too you can put little nip covers on and be fine because you can adjust those straps but this is definitely a style that i feel like flatters my body type you know being that it's more of like you know i'm this it doesn't accentuate my hips or my belly. It literally just pulls me in right where I love to be. So this is a huge win. Absolutely love this. Okay, y'all. So that is all for today's video. My overall thoughts of Zaffle. I actually found some really great pieces. Uh, and I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest with you all. I think that there are some hits. There were some misses, which is to be very normal, in my opinion, especially shopping with a company that I've never tried on before. Um, like I told you all, I had only my, my teenager had. And I, I we're built different. You know what I'm saying? We're just built different. So I think overall, 
very cute pieces sizing wise i think some of the sizing was a little inconsistent however what i will say with that is that's nothing new i think with any brand you what i'm learning is you just have to read the reviews you have to pay attention to the sizing chart and i think that this is going to be no different as far as the straight size versus plus size I feel like we definitely saw a bit of a difference with the straight size, which again is pretty normal. I feel like, you know, a straight size, large, extra large, doesn't necessarily accommodate some of the things that a plus size will. So I think it's going to come down to the style that you were choosing from. As we saw, we got some extra fabric down here so we can get away with things. But overall, I'm actually pretty pleased with the product from Zappel. I like the quality. I feel like this is definitely stuff that I can see wearing in my everyday type of life. So let me know y'all's thoughts down below. If you have shopped from Zappel, what are some of your favorite pieces? Did you even know that they had a plus size line? Because I did not. So I definitely will be going back and checking out some more things. Uh, don't forget, you can sign up with Rakuten down below if you you are interested in signing up getting the referral link sharing the referral link getting that 20 to 30 dollar sign up bonus um also there is cupert i'm not 100 sure if zapple's on cupert but i have one on my computer one on my phone and yeah so i'm just all about saving that coin anyways friends that is all for today's video check my description box down below if you're interested in picking up anything that you saw on today don't forget to check me out over on instagram and on TikTok, couldn't remember what I was gonna say, at Hot Miss Mama of Four. And I'm also on YouTube on another channel, Hot Miss Mama MD, Makeup Diva, where I do a lot of makeup unboxings, talking about makeup, subscription, unboxings, all of that. So all information will be in the description box down below. And until next time, I'm getting ready to work on another haul. So Oh, oh, and some of y'all have asked me, did I pick up any of the Sarah Ray Vargas pieces from Fashion to Figure? You know your girl did. So that video will be coming up very soon. Now, I didn't get too much. I did not get too much, but I did get a few pieces, and I'm pretty excited to show y'all what I picked up. I'm just waiting on my order to get here, so make sure to subscribe and stick around. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on my Fashion to Figure haul. I've got some more Shein hauls coming. I've been promising y'all a Skims haul, so that will be coming, and oh my gosh, I don't even know. We have TikTok fashion, styling fashion, just stick around, stick around. Lots more to come. All right, friends, until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah. Bye.